Welcome to the editor overview. Today I'm going to go over uh, each one of the windows that you see when Unity is started in a new project and show you kind of around um, what you'll be using to work on your, your Unity projects. So first of all, this big uh, scene window in front of us is the, the workspace. This is where we're working on our game level. You can you know, tell yourself that this is kind of like the level window because anything in here will be within your scene file, um, which is how Unity stores levels. So uh, in here, we see a little camera icon that we can click on. The camera has uh, some directions that you can move it on based on the X, Y, or Z axis. Also, when you click on it, uh, you see this camera preview window comes up. This is what the camera currently sees, and uh, whatever the camera, like whatever the, the main camera, because you can only have one camera active in a scene whenever uh, a main camera is set up, that is what the the game view will actually see. It's what the player will see. So actually behind the scene view, there's the uh, game tab. So if we click on that, we can see it's the same thing that the, uh, the camera preview is currently looking at because it's set as the main camera. Also, when we clicked on it, you can see over here in the hierarchy tab that uh, main camera is currently selected. The hierarchy is everything in the Unity scene that you're currently working on. Um, just list it out rather than uh, trying to seek it out inside of here. Um, also, uh, notice that when we clicked on the main camera, there's another uh, panel over here called Inspector. The Inspector uh, is exactly that. It looks at all the detailed information of what that object has to offer. And they're all separated by components. Uh, Unity is a component-based editor, so everything that you add to a game object is just an extra component that, you, that you've added to it. So this, in essence, is an empty game object that has uh, a camera component added to it, a GUI layer component, a flare layer component, and an audio listener component. Um, and that is what a base camera is set up as. But you can always add things by clicking Add Component and selecting from the number of different components that uh, Unity has to offer, uh, or even remove things from here by right-clicking on them or you can hit this gear and move them or reset them or uh, any of that. So anything in the inspector is kind of how you edit every single little object that's out there. At the bottom here we have something called the project window. The project window is your, uh, your project that's on your hard drive. Um, actually if you go over to where assets is and if you right click on it and say show and explore and this is on the windows side um, it, uh, you can also find the um, find where it is on the Mac side by uh, following a, a similar uh, set of steps. But we can go to Show and Explore, and it jumps right to that folder hierarchy that we're working with, with the Assets folder being this folder right here. So if you go into Assets, there's nothing in it. But if I right-click and say New uh, Folder and call this, uh, test folder and save it. If I close this window, you'll see that it now pops up right under here. So uh, same same hierarchy of folders as is your uh, where your project's being saved to. So uh, this is your drive. The hierarchy is your scene. So uh, that was the project um, the project window. Behind the project window is something called the console. And the console window is essentially a message center for anything that happens in Unity. So if something is a message, a, uh, a warning, or an error, uh, they'll pop up based on if these are turned on or not. Um, if they're not turned on, you'll see these numbers increment if you have a problem, but you won't see it actually uh, appear in the console. So you want to make sure that the ones that you want turned on are turned on. And, uh, and they'll essentially list out in here as, uh, as things are being scripted or worked on uh, to give you more of an idea of what is going wrong or how things are working through debug steps and that sort of thing. So uh, this is kind of how the window looks when you start it. However, I like to work in a different setup so you can change the 
the way these windows work by just dragging windows around. So you can move them however you want, kind of like this. However, uh, there's some default layouts. Uh, if you go up here where it says default and switch it to, they've got two by three, four split, uh, tall, wide. So I'm gonna go to uh, two by three. And two by three, I, I enjoy because I can see both the, the scene and the game. Uh, the hierarchy is right here next to the scene, but also I move the project down here. So I have all of my assets kind of next to it uh, or next to each other, kind of like that. And then also in the project window, you can even change the way it lays this out. So if you go over here, I can change it to one column layout, and then it looks more like my hierarchy uh, and more like a, a standard like Windows folder hierarchy folder 2. And now uh, with that you can close these and sort them and whatever. Um, it's just much easier for me to work with and this is actually how uh, or similar to how Unity was set up for uh, an older version but they've since changed that as they've upgraded to 4. So uh, there you have that and then uh, what am I missing? Okay so uh, up here we've got the play pause um, and fast forward and so uh, play what that does is if you have things in your scene you can play the game right here uh, you can pause it if you want it to stop at any given point uh, I've never used the other one um, I don't even think that's a fast forward it's like a go till end or something like that but uh, Play, you can actually play your game in the scene and pause. Uh, you can pause it at any given point and then go inspect things in your hierarchy to make sure that uh, if you have a problem, you can try to find out what's going on. Um, whenever you're working in your scene, make sure that you don't have play turned on because any of the changes you make during gameplay uh, will not save after you're done hitting play. Um, on each one of these windows, they have kind of different modifiers and things like that that you can play around with. Uh, up here are the transform tools, so you have a pan option for windows. Um, you have your transform, so if you click on things you can transform stuff. Rotation, if you want to rotate things. And scale, for uh, uh, objects that you can change scale for. Uh, also, they have two controls for either uh, controlling it at the pivot or controlling it at the uh, uh, world, local or world, or local or global. Global uh, would be all the objects working within like the scene, whereas local is if you've rotated it, it'll stay like here. I'll show you. If I rotate it like this, it kind of angles itself. If I click on uh, there's local, there's global. So global, global pivot, set this back to you know, the normal sphere shape where if I go to local it's actually on that angle that I set it to so when I move it on that it stays pointed in that direction and I can go like this if I hit world or, or global I can move it you know directly up and down left and right like normal and it it's still rotated however the transform works uh, non rotated um, hopefully that makes sense so uh, there's that stuff and then up at the top, we've got our, uh, our standard uh, file menus. In file, you can do things su such as saving your scene, which you should do often, uh, opening projects, saving projects. There's the build settings. Build settings will let you select what platform you're working on, and it has different player settings for how that's going to work. Scenes and build, uh, you can add the current scene or add other scenes, and the only way that a uh, a level uh, can understand transferring to another level is if it's added to your build. So you want to make sure that any of your scenes you're working on are added to the build. Uh, under edit, um, there's things such as like the project settings. You can change input. Uh, you know, play around with the, the graphical quality, some of the networking stuff, uh, and then your standard editing stuff like duplicating, deleting, copying, pasting. Uh, under assets, assets is how you create all of your um, like uh, things that would go into your project folder, such as materials, shaders, new scripts, that sort of thing. Uh, game objects are the objects in your scene, 
So like I said, the, the main camera is a game object. You can create an empty game object that has nothing on it and then add a camera component and then that suddenly becomes a new camera. Uh, and once again, you, you can't have uh, more than one active. If I hit play, actually, it'll give me a message. Uh, actually, it's not gonna give me a message. I don't have, so when cameras get created, they have audio listeners on it. The one I've just created doesn't have one, but if I were to add an audio, audio listener, there we go. If I add an audio listener and then hit play, it's gonna say there are two audio listeners in the scene. Please ensure there's always exactly one in the scene. So there's my, uh, my console window actually telling me that something happened. Um, so just to show you that those are uh, just standard game objects. Uh, up here in the transforms, you can change the transforms by just typing numbers in it. Uh, so if you wanna just reset something to a position, you can. So we can go like, that um, and uh, there's a let's see under game object if you go to create other there's game objects with things already applied to it so like sprites cubes uh, particle systems that sort of thing they're all up in there uh, component menu is the same as the add component down here uh, you just can add uh, them from here as well so if we add a like a rigid body to the camera it adds it right here and finally the window menu for a lot of the other things that are not standard and open such as the animation window if you want to actually animate stuff on a timeline uh, the what else is in here the profiler for actually checking um, what kind of CPU usage your your level is using or like how, how much your, your uh, GPU is being hit by graphics. Um, and then let's see down here, there's like version control, there's the asset store. The asset store is for uh, any packages that uh, other people have made that if you wanna purchase something, um, you can hop in there and, and go grab free assets or purchase assets or uh, that, that whole thing. The Unity community is really good about offering a lot of things. Like here's a car paint shader uh, as a deal right now and that sort of thing. So uh, that's really helpful. And then there's some, there's a sprite packer, light mapping, uh, occlusion culling, uh, a whole lot of stuff. And let's see, under help, we've even got the, the Unity manual for if you just wanna know something about the editor or the scripting reference, which is incredibly useful for when you get into scripting. Um, and then uh, all the different support sites that are all uh, super helpful for anyone who's starting out brand new and wants to get going into uh, developing a, a game project with Unity.